Okay, boys and girls, tonight's homework is 5 1. I want you to do both the practice and the reteach sides. Okay, we're talking tonight about variables and expressions. Now, a variable is a letter in a problem. So, whenever we have a problem that has a letter in it, that letter is considered a variable. Okay, so in the first one here, k times 7, k is the variable. And the reason why it's called a variable is because we don't know what k equals. In order to figure out what k equals, we have to be given that variable. And in this first set of equations here, k can equal 5, it can equal 9, it can equal 11, or it can equal 13, depending on which variable is given to us. So in number 1, they're telling us that k has to equal 5. So what they did is they took this 5, they replaced it here instead of k, and instead of saying k times 7, it now says 5 times 7, and we all know that's 35. So again, in number 2, they took the 9, they replaced it where k is, and now they have 9 times 7. So go ahead and solve that problem. In number 3, okay, they're saying that k equals 11. So we're going to take that 11, plug it in for k, and we get 11 times 7 equals 77. Okay, um, Go ahead and do number 4 on your own. I'm going to do number 5 for you and let, let you do the rest of them on your own. So for number 5, our variables, our variable is x, okay? And the different numbers that they're giving us to plug in for x are 60, 72, 42, and 36. So basically what we're doing on number 5, boys and girls, is instead of saying x divided by 6, we're going to take the 60 for the first column and plug that in for x. So 60 divided by 6 equals 10, okay? And we can check that by saying 10 times 6 equals 60. We know that. So for the next one, we're going to take 72 and plug that in for x. So 72 divided by 6 equals 12. And we can check that by saying, yeah, we know that 6 times 12 equals 72. The next one, 42 is our variable. So we're going to take that and plug it in for x. So 42 divided by 6 equals 7. And we can check that by saying we know that 7 times 6 is cushy 42. Okay, And the last one here, we're going to take 36. We're going to plug it in for x. So 36 divided by 6, divided by 6. And uh, think this one through, boys and girls. In our class, we know 6 times something, 6 times what number equals the thirsty sixes. Okay, we know it's six times six, right? So therefore, 36 divided by six must also equal six. So the answer here is six, okay? Do these the same way where you plug the variable in with the value, with its value, and you'll find your answer, okay? Go ahead and do those on this side. Do the, the reteach side, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good luck.